Hello everyone, this is SR Tally Consulting Services, the right hand persons. Uh, one thing we would like to add uh, to our consulting is most definitely is sports. I, like, I would like to say, um, let's go Dallas Cowboys, let's go Dallas Wings, let's go FC Dallas, let's go Texas Rangers, let's go Dallas Stars, uh, let's go Dallas Cowboys. Um, but before we get into the Dallas Cowboys draft, I would like to talk about the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, I think the Dallas Mavericks is tied this year for the third worst record uh, in the NBA this year. Um, but one thing that's positive about this is that we can end up with a top five pick in the NBA draft. Uh, we haven't had this opportunity in years uh, in a long time because the Mavericks have been playing at a high level. Uh, they won uh, a champ championships, and we most definitely is proud of that. Now, I haven't been really able to watch NBA, uh, college sports, uh, due to my uh, schedule during the week, on the weekend, uh, just different situations. Now, uh, Michael Jordan, he was uh, pick number five. LeBron James, pick number one. Stephen Curry, pick number seven. And uh, we know what impact they have had on the NBA. And, of course, our own Dirk uh, Nowinski. Uh, now, let's look at Tim Duncan. You know, he's in the playoffs this year. Uh, he's been playing for a long uh, time. So, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to the NBA draft this year. Um, and I think they're going to uh, make a decision uh, that's going to impact the Mavericks uh, for years to come. And let's look at uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys, of course, uh, cut Dez Bryant this year. Uh, you know, he was a number one pick. Uh, he wrote, uh, uh, he wore number 88. And one thing about number uh, 88, such as Drew Pearson and Michael Irving, uh, they was blessed to uh, win Super, Bowl, Super Bowls uh, for the Dallas Cowboys. Unfortunately, uh, that did not happen uh, for Dez Bryant. And uh, most definitely hoping uh, positive things for Dez Bryant. I'm thinking he's going to get picked up uh, after the draft. Uh, now, uh, so a lot of people are probably going to um, want the Dallas Cowboys to pick a wide receiver for the number one pick. And we did make some moves at wide receiver uh, with Mr. Hearns and Mr. Thompson. Uh, we still have Cole Beasley, Mr. Williams. Uh, Switzer, Noah Brown, etc. Uh, we most definitely have my boy Ezekiel Elliott. We got Dak Prescott. Uh, our offensive line have had some setbacks. You know, Doug Free retiring sort of had an imp more of an impact uh, than we thought uh, it was going to ha uh, have. So it's, it's coming along. We know we, uh, you know, Mr. Collins played right tackle. He's played guard. We have Mr. Fleming, uh, you know, who had to, who had to protect uh, Tom Brady this year. We're bringing in Martin. Uh, but I most definitely think we should get another guard or tackle out of this draft. Now, what am I thinking? Uh, we play a lot of good quarterbacks in our division, NFC period um, you're not going to go far in the playoffs if you cannot um, have a good enough defense uh, to slow down the opposing team's offense that's been an issue with us I think for the most part we have always been able to score points uh, for the most part but uh, you know there, there are some great players you know, every team has great players, and some teams have great offenses. They have veteran quarterbacks that's been playing for years and years, and they have a lot of young quarterbacks that have been uh, picked number one and two in the NFL, and they've been graded properly. I don't know if the uh, NFL is doing a better job of grading players, but they've been coming in and uh, doing exactly uh, what they were uh, assessed or graded uh, to do. So let's uh, look at our plan B. 
My plan B is, to, is for the Dallas Cowboys to add another linebacker to the linebacking uh, core. Uh, we picked up a lot of cornerbacks last year. I think we need to add someone to Sean Lee. I know Sean Lee plays uh, lights out when he's healthy. I know we got Jalen Smith coming along. We still have Damian Wilson. I like the uh, roughness and aggressiveness he has. Uh, and we um, have a new addition, uh, Joe Thomas, uh, which uh, Akaya Media uh, reports that he's, uh, you know, pretty intelligent. Uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, reading the offenses and he's being in the right places, etc. cetera. So, uh, you know, and I've also reviewed... Uh, uh, before I made this decision, I read other media outlets like ESPN, uh, NFL.com, NFL Network, SI.com, Draft Tech, uh, Walters Football, etc. Uh, most definitely DallasCowboys.com, uh, Dallas Morning News, and normally the Star Telegram. So my plan B is for us to draft a linebacker. I think we should, um, you know, make an impact. Uh, I think we should get a linebacker that actually can come in and start regardless of, of, of the linebackers we have on our roster. Uh, and I think we should move up and either get Mr. Roquan Smith or Mr. Tremont uh, uh, Edmonds. I know uh, they're on some draft boards. They're having, I think his name is Vander Esch at number 19. And um, Mr. Evans from Alabama, but I I think we should uh, draft the linebacker, uh, and that's my plan B. Now, Mr. Uh, I mean, my plan A, of course. Uh, and um, you know, before I get to my plan A, you know, we we've, we've had some uh, another loss. We we lost uh, Mr. James Hanna, who's retiring. So that's that started having an impact on our depth. Uh, at wide, I mean, at tight end. Now we still got Mr. Whitten, uh, you know, and and his most definitely veteran uh, leadership. Uh, so, but um, you know, looking at the uh, first round grades of the uh, of the tight ends, uh, there's no, there's really not going to be a tight end for us as far as the best available player, even worth drafting at uh, number 19. Just looking at. Uh, the research that I, that I have done. Of course, there will be one uh, close to number 50 when we pick in the second round. Uh, so we most definitely have a a, a decision uh, uh, to make. You know, do we want to rebuild, continue to build up the defense? Uh, do we want to, uh, you know, I'm looking at, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, you know, we got we got a good running back. We got a uh, you know, might as well say we have a good offensive line. We had setbacks, and we got Dak Prescott. So uh, the the decision to me is: do we make a run for the Super Bowl, or do we continue to rebuild? So if we continue to rebuild, then we we go get one of those wide receivers. Uh, and the wide receiver, of course, is uh, Calvin Ridley, uh, uh, Cortland uh, Sutherland. I'm hearing Mr. Moore or whatever. But honestly, I don't think we should go wide receiver because that's not the reason uh, that we're not enhancing in the playoffs or into the championship or Super Bowl game. Um, I'm thinking that we should. My plan A is is a, is a defensive tackle. Uh, so uh, Mr. Vita Villa at the one technique again uh, next to Malik Collins, Mr. Crawford, or Mr. Irving. And uh, reason being is that we either need to have the um, quarterback on the bench or on his bottom. Um, you need to have the quarterback on his on the bench or the bottom. Uh, uh, I mean, on, on the ground. And um, I also uh, like his aggressiveness. I like how he gets in in uh, in, in the uh, back. You know, he, he also is able to sack the quarterback. Now, of course, our defensive coordinator, or some people have reported that he doesn't, um, you know, feel like that's the most important uh, part 
uh, position on the defense. But you know, every year we are are uh, signing a free agent to fill that spot. So I think we really just need to go ahead and uh, get a, a, a first round grade player uh, in that spot. And you know, you know, we got the defensive ends uh, coming along. We still can get Randall Gregory back. And, you know, and uh, I think that most definitely will benefit us. Now, uh, looking at my notes, we also have Mr. Deron Payne uh, from Alabama. You know, he, he goes against great competition every year. He's in, uh, if, not, if he's not, you know, he's in the playoffs, he's in the championship. And he's a run stuffer. You know, he's a run stuffer. And uh, so about him being a run stuffer, it makes teams one-dimensional. You know, stop the run, and, you know, not ends, and linebackers go to work. You know, in, in, a, in the second round, once again, we have a center guard there. We have tight ends. We have linebacker. Now, reviewing the safeties, I didn't really see a safety. Uh, I think we, if we were to get a safety, it would be more of a pass uh, I mean, uh, a ball hawking safety. You know, we have Kevin Frazier. We have uh, Heath Harris. Um, and, you know, we're moving uh, Mr. Jones to cornerback. Uh, now, uh, another option that I looked at is uh, Mr. Minka uh, Fitzpatrick from Alabama. But we most definitely will have to move up. And uh, get that cornerback, uh, and he most definitely could make make an impact. But we also have all these young cornerbacks uh, that are growing, and most definitely can grow uh, into the uh, into the uh, defensive scheme. Now we also got the uh, former defensive coordinator uh, for our uh, pass passing game coordinator, and of course our secondary coach. So I, I most definitely um, think that will uh, have a major impact on our defense. Um, but most definitely, um, Plan B is we draft a linebacker, and Plan A is that we draft a defensive tackle. I say, you know, let's go defense. You know, I'm looking at a. Uh, I feel even though you know I know we're going to get a wide receiver. Uh, I know we're going to drop the wide receiver, you know, possibly a tight end, pops the running back. But I really feel like we should really focus on the defense because I think our offense really, you know, you got, you got the, one of the best running backs in, uh, in, uh, NFL. He can hit, hopefully he'll, he'll be able to play 16 games. You got Dak Prescott. Now, one thing I did uh, need to mention Lamar Jackson, the quarterback from Louisville, uh, can fall to number. Um, he can fall to uh, number nineteen. Do we pick him up? Uh, if he fall, you know, do do we draft him? You know, Oklahoma quarterback. You know, he's been getting into a lot of trouble. So uh, I know a lot of things can uh, change our draft strategy. Uh, some, but I'm hoping for a linebacker or a defensive tackle. That's what I'm hoping for. Because even if it were to draft a wide receiver, I don't see it. The wide receiver is not going to help us get over that hump. The linebacker or defensive tackle is going to help us get over that hump. I'm hoping that our wide receivers that we have make improvements in our game and... Um, uh, you know, or we can maybe pick up another free agent. You never know anything can happen. We can draft the second wide receiver in the second round. But I know them wide receivers do look good. You know, I'm looking at it. It does look good, you know. Uh, but, you know, I know the Cowboys, they can always find a uh, gym. The only way I can see us adding a wide receiver to the receiving court that we have right now is they just have lightning speed. I, I know Cortland Sutton, his his height and everything looks good, but hey, he might be there at the top of the uh, second round, and we can uh, trade up and get him. So that's my plan A and uh, plan B 
for this year's draft. Uh, you know, y'all have a, a good year. Y'all have a prosperous year. And uh, thank you from SR Talent Consulting Services, the right-hand persons.